shall consume the earth with her increase. And shall consume the earth with her increase. The more and more we disobey our God, the most high God of Israel, the most high God of Israel and Israel alone, the more we disrespect our father, the more he's going to get angry with us and punish us. Read that one part again. So God, and shall burn unto the Lord's hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase. And shall consume the earth with her increase. Her increase is our, is our iniquity, is our, is our transgression of the law. Because like the brother said earlier, sin is the transgression of the law. So the more and more that we sin, the more and more God is going to burn us up. So what you need to do, you need to get back to these laws, that's just a commandment, stop sinning. So you can get out of this hellish condition. Right. Keep reading. So God has set on fire the foundations of the mountain. And set on fire the foundations of the mountain. Because at that time we were worshiping other gods too. They, they were powerful, powerful so-called entities that we were following. The most high God tore them gods up. Ripped them to the ground. Ripped them all the way down to the ground, to their foundation. Tore them apart. The Most High God does not play around with his children. Right. Give me, give me Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 16. The Most High God, he's a great father, a wonderful father. He will punish us when we need to be punished. And he will reward us when we deserve reward. Just like any good father. If your father tells you, go clean up your room, I'm going to the store. He goes to the store and you don't clean up your room? When he comes back, what you think gonna happen? You're not gonna get to play that PlayStation. You're not gonna get to go outside and play with your friends. He's not gonna buy you anything. You're not gonna get when your father, when you do exactly what your father told you to do. You be a good child. You be an obedient child. And your father, the most high God, will bless you. He will reward you. Read what you got, brother. So God, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 16. Sorry. Chapter 3, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Once again, look up. The sun is above us. What is under the sun? This planet. This planet is the place of judgment. Read it again. Go oh God. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. The place of judgment where we walking on right now. That wickedness was there. That wickedness was there. Look at all these rainbows. Look at all this, this crime. Look at all these homicides. Look at, look at the drug epidemic. Look, look at uh, Planned Parenthood. Look, look at the, the prison system. Right. Look at all of these crimes. Read that part one more time. Oh God, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. The place of judgment. Where you get judged, once again, if you do the right thing, you get rewarded. If you do the wrong thing, you get punished. Keep going. Oh God, that wickedness was there. And wickedness was, was, was where? And wickedness was there. And wickedness was in Chinatown, D.C. Wickedness was there. Wickedness was in Buffalo, New York. Place of judgment, that wickedness was there. Wickedness was in, in America. Is in America. Wickedness was there. It's here, right here. Wickedness is right here where we walk in there in this hellish condition. Keep reading. Come And the place of righteousness that was iniquity was there. And the place of righteousness that was in iniquity. This, this could be a place of righteousness if we do the right thing, but we're in iniquity. What's iniquity? Our sin. 
but sin the transgression of the law. So once again, read that. Come with God. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was there. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. And the place of righteousness. This right here, the ISUPK, this is the place of righteousness. That's right. And this is where you need to come to learn the law, statutes, and commandments so you can get back to your father and be in good graces with your father to get out of your hellish condition. Right. This is the place of righteousness. This is where you can save your life. This is where you can do your father's will. Where you can, can be brand new. You kill the old man, become a new man, and then you do no sin. Right. You'll be a wonderful person in the eyes of your father, the most high God. Keep reading. Go God. Verse 17. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time, therefore, every purpose and for every work. Come, come. Read that one more time. Just one line by line. Go God. Verse 17. I said in my heart, the most high God said in his heart, God shall judge the righteous. God shall judge the righteous. God, he will judge the righteous. The judge of the righteous is giving the reward because the righteous are doing the right thing. The righteous are following their father's law, right. their father's word. Right. They are doing what their father told them to do. You know, if you're not going to do what your father told you to do, then you're not going to be rewarded. You're going to get punished. Keep going. God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time, there for every purpose and for every work. There's a time for every purpose and for every work. The Most High God does allow certain things to happen for a purpose. It's always a teaching purpose for you to learn what to do and what not to do. So there is a time where wicked can be abound, but you should always be righteous. You should always see the wicked things that are going on around you and, and learn from that. Do not do what a wicked person will do. Do not do, do not follow the ways of the wicked man. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sounds Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 One body, one face, one lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something Ain't a four degree niggas across the board Ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth Well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king Round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards Not important for grand Nigga is step before the sign Rather die like a man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die 